Hey everyone, Brendan Goodenough here and welcome to this video on how to access the deep web on Android. So let's get started by going ahead and opening up the Play Store and here we need to download two apps that are required to connect us to the Tor network. The first app that we want to download and install is Orbot. It's made by the Tor project and it's going to allow us to actually build our connection to the Tor network and proxy a number of apps through it. The second app that we need to download and install is AllWeb. It's made by the Guardian Project. And this is essentially going to allow us to uh, browse the Tor hidden services, access the hidden wiki, or other sites that are proxied through the, uh, the Tor network um, as it works somewhat hand in hand with Orbach. So once both of these have been downloaded and installed, go ahead and open up Orbot and long press on the power button to start it up. Now if this is your first time running Orbot, it can take a long time. Um, after that it should be pretty smooth uh, to start up after that. And once it's done, you can go ahead and click on Check Browser, which will open up the AllWeb app that we downloaded. And here it'll bring you to a page, uh, the Check Tor Project page, that should say that your browser is configured to use Tor, and it should show you an IP address that is different to your actual IP address. You will, however, receive a warning message that says, however, it does not appear to be the Tor browser. This makes sense because we're running all web, and the Tor browser is part of the Tor browser bundle for PC. So obviously this is not the Tor browser. Um, to access hidden services, such as the hidden wiki, I've set up a website that lists a number of hidden services and cleanet services relating to the deep web um, on my website. So it's a pretty handy way to access the hidden wiki and other services and we can do that by clicking on the all web logo at the top here and typing in deep web dot pw now this should load up the site and once it's loaded you can go ahead and click on the link to the hidden wiki now bear in mind this is tor that we're using and tor is infamously slow uh, and of course because of that um, on Android or on mobile devices it can be especially slow and the hidden wiki can take forever to load uh, and other hidden services or other websites in general can take forever to load so bear that in mind and yeah uh, so as you can see now that we're on the hidden wiki uh, the first thing that we want to do here before we go anywhere else is we want to go into the settings of all web itself and make sure that enable JavaScript well, JavaScript is disabled, so uncheck the Enable JavaScript option. Also in the options here, we have the options to set the locale or the language of our AllWeb app here, um, our homepage, proxies if, you're, if you have a proxy available. You can also clear the cache or cookies. And also under Privacy here, you can see that there's a user agent option which uh, tells us or tells websites how we want to identify ourselves. Uh, so we can choose to identify ourselves as a Tor browser bundle or as Android or other websites, uh, uh, other browsers such as Firefox or Internet Explorer, for example. Once you've chosen whatever settings you want, uh, you can go ahead and come back here. And for example, let's click on the DuckDuckGo uh, hidden service, which is a nice hidden service for searching clearnet links on the deep web anonymously and you can see it loads and displays fine in this browser. However, one thing you will probably notice or may have noticed already about all web is that it's very lacking in features in that basically whenever I close all web uh, all the history is deleted etc which is a good thing for security and anonymity but there's no multiple tab functionality and thankfully for us, we have the option um, to actually proxy other apps such as Firefox or Chrome or other web browsers through Orbot itself. Uh, however, however, proxying other apps such as Firefox do, uh, does require your device to be rooted. So if you don't have a rooted device for this, I highly recommend that you search up how to root your Android device. Um, I am tempted to actually make a video myself, but 
because routing your device varies from device to device, um, I highly recommend you Google or search for how to route your specific model. Um, and we can go ahead and if I go ahead and exit the Orweb here and I power down Orbot. If we go into the settings of Orbot itself, you can see under general, there's a number of options regarding notifications or starting up on boot. I personally disable starting up Orbot on boot just because it annoys me. You can leave it enabled if you like it. Uh, but under the transparent proxying option here, this is where we require root to allow other browsers such as Firefox to use the Tor network. And so if we go ahead, I want to root a device, so if I go ahead and click on request root access, I can grant permission to that. And I can also, well I just need to restart because the option that we want is grayed out for whatever reason. If I restart that and go into settings, you can see that the option for transparent proxying or automatic torifying of apps is enabled. Now if you want to proxy all traffic through the Tor network, you can go ahead and check Tor everything. Otherwise you can select the specific apps that you want to proxy through Tor. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, uh, select Firefox. That's the only one that I want to route through Tor. Um, and once that's done, you should be good to go. Now, just because half the time it doesn't seem to work on the first go, I'm going to restart Orbot yet again. You may not need to do that, but on mine I do. And then I'm going to go ahead and power on Orbot here. And if I go ahead, you can see that Orbot's been granted uh, permission as root. And I can go ahead and open up Firefox, for example. And I can go to check.torproject.org. And once it loads, because it's going through the Tor network, it's slow, obviously. Once it loads, you should see that it says, congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. Again, your IP is something different to your actual IP address. And again, you have the same warning message, which is fine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to deepweb.pw. So I can go ahead and actually access the hidden wiki. Once it loads, I'm going to go ahead and click on the hidden wiki link. Now one thing that you will notice is you can see it opens up in a new tab. So now we have multiple tab functionality, which is a lot nicer than all web itself, in my opinion. And once this loads, you can see that we're on the hidden wiki and we're good to go. We have access to pretty much any hidden service that we want. Now, one thing to bear in mind, though, um, security-wise and anonymity-wise, uh, when you're using a different browser, um, is that oftentimes that browser is connected to other services. For example, with Firefox, you could be connected to the Firefox sync, which is logged into your Mozilla account, which is not a good thing. Um, also, you'd want to go ahead and disable um, JavaScript and trying to work out where that is, it might be in privacy. Uh, well, you might want to add an add-on, uh, an extension to disable JavaScript, like NoScript, for example. Uh, that comes with the Tor browser bundle, I believe. And you can disable JavaScript from there. Um, but mainly, you do not want to be logged in to Facebook or uh, your Google account or anything else on the Firefox browser while you're doing this or have JavaScript enabled. And for security wise as well, you also want to go ahead and disable your location. As you can see, mine's on high accuracy, which is not a good idea. Um, so for anonymity, you want to disable that. And also, one thing I forgot to mention, if you actually pull down the notification drawer from the top, you can see the whole Tor network that we're going through currently which is pretty cool. Uh, that shows us every connection uh, from our computer to the internet, or our phone to the internet. But if you want to use Tor for more secure and anonymous browsing, I highly recommend you stick to Orweb, as it's designed to be separate from your 
um, Firefox or Chrome browsers where you likely have stuff logged in and stuff like that. So that basically brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.